the next drill we have is broad jump. The broad jumps are primarily focused is our fast twitch muscles. We're gonna engage our leg and our core muscles. Now as an athlete and anyone that works out, we have to develop that horizontal power and stability. This is gonna increase our speed and agility along with our verticals. So in order for us to dominate this, we really have to engage this core. It's gonna work our leg muscles along with our horizontal power so we can dominate our drills and our performance on the field. To begin the broad jump drill, we're gonna have our feet shoulder length apart. We wanna have that nice base, nice base. Now, we're gonna start up in this position. This is phase one. So this is how we're gonna engage our power for the horizontal jump. Second phase is the load. We're gonna load, my chest is over my toes, all the weight is, all the weight is in my toes, and I have nice pad level. Phase three is we're actually gonna jump. As I'm jump, I'm reaching my arms out, jumping as far as I can. So phase one, here, Phase two, here, my arms are locked and loaded, my knees are bent, I have a nice pad level, and three, we're jumping. Now, when we jump, we wanna make sure we stick the jump, and we're on our feet, and we have a nice athletic position. Reason why we wanna land in an athletic position, because that's how we're gonna engage all these muscles that we need to work to get better. And, one, and also, landing in this athletic position, we're able to move here, we're able to move here, we're able to move here, we're able to move here. Each and every drill, we have to be in an athletic position from start to finish. Now, each and every five of these jumps have to be 100% effort, full speed, with correct technique and form. Now, after each and every rep, we have 60 seconds of rest in between. Now, these first two reps, I'm gonna show you at a 50% pace, so you know what the form and proper techniques looks like. So we have phase one, I'm engaging. Phase two, we're lock and loading. Three, I'm jumping, reaching out. All the weights on my toes, we're jumping strictly off the front of our toes. And we wanna stick the landing. Rep number one, 50%. Notice so how I stick, and I'm in an athletic position. We don't wanna be too high, we don't wanna be low. We wanna stick, we don't wanna stumble. So each and every rep, you should stick. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself, after each jump, put a place marker there. That way you know how far you got, so you can aim to push yourself and jump further than that the following reps. Rep number two, with 50% effort. Rep number one, out of the five reps, so this is the first rep out of five reps, 100% effort, full speed with a proper technique. Rep number two, 100% effort. As you can see, the last rep, that's my place marker right there. So let's see if I can beat that. Good, so as you can see, I got a little bit further. About a couple inches, probably about like three, four inches, I got a little bit further. Continue to challenge yourself, continue to push yourself. Rep number three, 100% effort. Rep number four, 100% effort. Last and final rep, rep number five. 100% effort. All right, so I got a little bit further. So like right here. All right, so there you guys have it, guys. That's how you push yourself and compete against yourself through these drills. Once again, we're working our horizontal power along with our leg and core muscles. This is how we're gonna get that explosiveness that we need to perform better.